UK observed minutes of silence in memory of the Queen. Moment of mourning observed after tribute from Camilla, Queen Consort, but Big Ben did not strike as planned. Death of the Queen and King Charles' accession latest updates. People hold a moment of silence for the late for the late Queen Elizabeth II at Westminster Bridge in front of Big Ben. A national moment of mourning has been observed across the UK for Elizabeth II. The moment of silence which took place on Sunday at 8 p.m. was held in the memory of the monarchy and so mourners across the UK come together to pay tribute. In a pre-recorded tribute by Camilla, the Queen Consort which was broadcast on the BBC shortly before the silence, Camilla spoke of the Queen's strength as a solitary woman in a male-dominated world. A service of reflection took place at 7.30 p.m. at the Calypse Sculptures near Falkley, which 96 Latinians want to represent each year of the Queen's life were lowered into a pool at the foot of the Queen Elizabeth II can, where wealth were also placed into the water as an act of remembrance. The Prime Minister, Liz Trussi, participated in the National Moment of Reflection from Drowning Street if why remembrance events were hosted in community spaces around the UK. Big Ben did not strike before and after as originally planned. A UK Parliament spokesperson said we are inviting this as, as a matter of urgency but are confident that it will not affect the polling tomorrow during the state funeral procession. In Manchester, the silence was marked with a vigil in the town hall square where more than 100 members of the public gathered and followed the silence with a round of apples and a short ceremony which included a poem written by Simon Armitage for the Queen and a blessing by the Bishop of Chester, the Right Reverend Mark China. In Northern Ireland, hundreds of people stood with their heads bowed in front of the flora tributes left before the gates of Northern Ireland's royal residence. Hillsburg Castle, while in, Be while in Belfast, people gathered for a short service at West Belfast Orange Hall on the Shanke Road. Travelers in Belfast International Airport also took part in the silence. In the queue for the Queen's line instead, a small crowd of people stopped near London Bridge and bowed their heads to observe national minute of silence before before applauding to mark the end of the silence. Dozens of metropolitan police officers also assembled in silence beside mourners and later sang the national anthem. The piper turns and walks away. The sound in the abbey fades to nothing. Nakaiwa Sharifa, MRIU TV.